Hello, and welcome to another Adverity Platform Guide. Today, we're gonna to be showing you how to create a Facebook Ads data stream. So first, let's take a look at Facebook Ads and the different types of data you can fetch. With Adverity's Facebook Ads API, you can automatically fetch Facebook Ads data, transform and enrich it, combine it with other marketing data, analyze and visualize it directly in Adverity, and send it to any desired destination for further analysis or storage. For example, you can combine your Facebook ads data with other ad platform data to get a holistic view of cross-channel campaign performance, or combine it with website data to drill down into the impact of different campaigns on website traffic. The Adverity Facebook Ads API allows for extremely detailed collection of data with more than 3,500 different dimensions and metrics available to fetch and you can find these listed in the Adverity documentation. To fetch ad performance data from Facebook ads, first head to the data streams page via the platform navigation menu, click create data stream in the top right and select Facebook ads. Next, you'll be asked to authorize Adverity to access Facebook ads. You can do this using your own credentials, in which case you'll be prompted to log into your Facebook ad account and provide permission. If you don't have access to your Facebook account, you can also ask for a colleague to authorize access for you. Lastly, if the workspace you are using already has an existing authorization, you can use that instead. In this case, we do have an existing authorization, so we're going to go ahead and select it and click Next. You'll now see a list of report templates you can choose from. These are all pre-built by Adverity based on common use cases and will fetch specific dimensions and metrics depending on the report type. The settings for any of these report templates can be changed later on. However, if you can't see the specific template you want, you can select custom configuration to create a new data stream from scratch. In this case, we want to look at our ad performance. So we're going to select ad performance reports and click next. You will now be asked if you want to assign any external destinations to this data stream. An external destination might be a data warehouse, data lake, or an analytics tool. If you don't have any destinations set up at the moment, or you don't want to send your data to a destination, don't worry. You can create and assign destinations to this data stream later on. So just skip this step by clicking next. You are now ready to perform an initial data fetch. The time range for this is entirely up to you. However, for your initial data fetch, we recommend fetching no more than one month worth of data. While you may want to backfill a lot of data on your initial fetch, this can take a long time if you're looking at several years of data so it's best to start with a smaller time range. This means you can adjust settings and further configure your data stream before scheduling larger data fetches. For now, we'll set the time range to last month and then hit run fetch. This will take you to the data stream overview page for your new data stream and start your initial data fetch. The data stream overview page is where you manage all the settings for that data stream. You can manually fetch data, schedule regular automated data fetches, assign enrichments, assign destinations, and enable a Verity data storage. You can also adjust your data stream settings at any time by heading to the settings tab. In particular, you can add or remove specific fields to fully customize what data this data stream is fetching. Once your initial data fetch is complete, you can check the data extract to make sure all the data has been extracted correctly. In the data extract view, You'll also notice the default data mapping that has been applied to your data stream. Data mapping lets you automatically ensure data from different data sources follows identical naming and formatting rules. For example, data related to total cost might be named cost in one data source and spend in another. This makes it difficult to compare the same data from different data sources. By mapping these source fields to the same target field in Adverity, you can compare and analyze this data more easily. You can adjust the data mapping for your data stream at any time by heading to the data mapping tab here. In the data mapping overview, on the left of the table is the source field column, which shows the source fields you have collected from your data source. On the right of the table, you can see the target field column. This shows the target fields in Adverity that your source field will be mapped to. Adverity automatically assigns target fields to the most common source fields but you can assign different target fields for this data source or even add custom target fields if you need to. Thanks for watching. For more information on how to set up a data stream, please check out Adverity documentation.